In this short video, I'm going to demonstrate how to change the duration of all of the slides at once and also how to change the transition type or the transition duration for all the slides at once. Let's uh, first go and change the type of transition uh, for each and every slide. Right now, uh, this, this slideshow that you're looking at right now, it has a transition, uh, the double sweep, which is at A with the little diagonal lines in blue. What we're going to do is we're going to change it to another transition type. So I'm going to select the first transition and I'm going to use the scroll bar down at the bottom to go all the way to the end. I'm going to select the last transition and now I'm going to go to the properties panel on the right hand side and you will notice that it says multiple transitions right here. So first I'm going to change this double sweep transition to a pixelate transition or pixelate transition. I click there and notice each and every transition now has been changed to the pixelate transition. I'm now going to do the same thing and change the duration of every single transition in the slideshow. I click on the downward arrow again it says multiple transitions. I click on the downward arrow where it says uh, the time and I'll change them all to four seconds. And now we can't really see that they're all four seconds but I think if we play the video we would see that. Okay, next, let's try something else. Let's say that uh, you wanted to change the duration of each and every slide from the current five seconds that you see here to some other number. Again, I'm going to go back to the beginning just so I make sure I see all of the slides. And I'm going to select this Select All Slides button. And now, underneath the properties, you see... Uh, the word all slides. So now it's just a simple matter of if I want to change the duration to say seven seconds, I click on the seven seconds in the properties panel. Notice now seven seconds is immediately at the base of each slide in the film strip. I could also change the background color used for each and every slide. That color that you would see if the slide doesn't fill up the screen. Now this may not be the only way to do this, but it is a quick and easy way to do it. Hope this helps a bit. Talk to you next time.